Hi Taurus, it's Leslie with your year ahead forecast. Welcome to an exciting new year. Resilient Taurus, and you are very resilient. When your forecast begins, Jupiter is in Sagittarius, your solar eighth house. Whoa. In your eighth house, you notice other people's money, inheritances, so forth. So that means money, something that's solid is coming to you. Important financial matters may be on your mind, taxes, insurance, and loans, in addition to deep emotional sharing and your intimate life. Looks, it looks to me like you've really been thinking about how you really have a problem with giving love and taking love and accepting it. Uh, you're thinking about it now. You're really thinking about it, uh, saying this is no fun. Uh, you seem to keep yourself on the pulled backstage of anything, even someone um, giving you a hug. Uh, if you're thinking about this, maybe you want to change that. Maybe you want to try and change that so you feel warm, you feel love, and not so lonely. Uh, Uranus moved into your sign for, for a seven-year visit, March 2019. Change will be very much of your life now at this time. A lot of change. Uh, it, no matter what, something's happened to you in the last three or four years that made you think about change and change some, but change will be, uh, you're going to be a little softer person when I say that in, in, in a good way, in a very positive way. Um, New opportunities, new strengths. You need to stay open to new ideas and relationships uh, or old relationships that you need. You really need to put them back together. You really truly need to put it back together or um, have a new one, have a new relationship, one or the other, but have someone in your life. Uh, the old relationship was probably the best one you ever had, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it just looks very complicated to me. That's all I can. I can't tell exactly what it is. Um, so that's up to you. You may become more spiritual or more confused at this time. Uh, stay practical and grounded in reality. And reality is you need to do that. That would be very good for you. Live according to your highest ideals. Your highest ideals are very good ideals. Live according to your highest ideals and your thoughts. An opportunity to learn new skills and gain new, fresh perspectives if you use your energy wisely. This is new energy coming to you. You'll be wiser and achieve at least one thing of lasting importance to you, some happiness. You might find affection and love just by enjoying an existing affair with your favorite partner or companion. You may find yourself wanting a permanent, stable relationship. Uh, this is the first time you've always wanted that, but when you really thought about it and doing the work it takes to keep that with the love you have, have or are involved with, you may find that with the love you have, um, you may find yourself knowing that you should have done this, you should do it. You may find that this is your primary focus all of a sudden, more so than it's ever been. Lucky you, you have a talent for acquiring and using money and other material resources to your good. And this is the time to do that. Money will be coming to you. Um, many famous singers are born under Taurus. If you marry, choose a partner who is loyal and kind and enjoys life. Make sure you look at the other person at the positive signs of it too, which um, I know you're thinking about that. Have a great year. It's a good year for you. Let's see what the cards have for you for this year, Taurus. Okay. Um, Okay, the cards say that you're going to do some working this year, more so than you have been. Uh, it may be a business you have, uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you're thinking about it, you're thinking maybe I should do this, maybe it would be good for me to do something. You're debating in your mind whether to do it or not. Um, you don't know if you want to put that much energy forward, um, I'm just not quite sure, I believe you. You're going to get more information about what this is, and then you will do it. You, you will do it. Here you are, Page of Pentacles. Um, someone is offering you something, or somebody is in your business, I believe this is. Or somebody who cares about you, who is offering you something very secure, um, and that's money or something of the greatest value to you. So it could, I guess it could be love, too. Uh, it could be money. It could be love. Um, or it could be you just feeling good about yourself. Um, 
you will take it. You've learned more about it. You will take it. Here's um, the mother card. The mother card or somebody very maternal or someone in your life that um, cares about you, wants to do nice things for you. Um, as you can see around the card there, I don't know if you can see this, there's little chairs, and she's full of love. This person is full of love for you. And this is saying, uh, you're, gonna, you're, learning, you're learning you need to accept this. And this is all going to happen in the first part of years. So in May, June, May and June being part of July. The star says, you, and you, when you do this, you're going to feel much better. You're going to have achieved something within yourself or something that you want to do. You're going to have some focus and priority of something you want to do. It's actually very good. And again, you don't have to hide behind yourself anymore because you can be you. You know who you are. You like who you are and you're going to enjoy yourself. There's something new you're gonna be doing and that's just fine. It's fine, it's very good. It's gonna be very successful. Um, here you're holding on, sometimes you're afraid your security will go away, whatever is secure to you. Um, money, love, um, material things, um, or just who you are. It's not gonna go away from you. You're holding on to it almost too tight, almost too tight. Let it go and enjoy yourself because it's a great year for you. It's when you, this is going to be your best year ever, I believe. Here you are. Um, whatever you're doing, this, is, this, you know, is a master craftsman. It's where someone's telling you what good work you do. But you're going to be very happy with yourself. This year is a wonderful year for you in, in love, in <clears throat> accepting yourself, and changing yourself a little bit in a good way, in a very good way. You're going to find out some very, very good news this year, too. Um, it could be health-related or, or about something that you're going to do. Um, okay, have a wonderful year. Happy birthday. Bye-bye.